If you want to do chemistry experiments at home and you only have a wooden workbench like this, it is very bad to work on because acids make holes in it and it can burn easily. So today I show you how to make a portable lab surface out of tiles. You can get all the things you need in a local supply store or do-it-yourself market. First you need a wooden board of course, one meter long and 65 centimeters wide and a little wooden strip the same length as the board to prevent the board from moving on the workbench. Then old newspaper to protect the floor when you work on your board and when you paint it. And small lap tiles like this ones. They are resistant to acids and heat. And of course you need tile cement. Then tile spacers, very small ones to for the gaps between the tiles. And to fill these gaps you need a grouting of course. You need different scrapers and just any paint which we will put on the board to prevent the board to soak in with water and a paintbrush. So that's all you need. For the first step cover your floor with the newspaper. Now put your board on the newspapers and start painting it. It is important to paint both sides of your board, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just put your paint on it and then let it dry for around six hours. When one side has dried, go on by the other one. After having painted your board, you should try whether your tires really fit in your board and if they don't fit you may need a tile cutter like this one and with this thing it's really easy to cut all your tiles so I made half tiles in the end on the end of the board and now I tried and the tiles fit so you can go on by putting the tile cement all over your board Use a trowel to spread the tile cement all over your board. Now you can put your tiles on your board. And make sure not to forget the tile spacers to put between the tiles. They will help you to find the right space between two tiles. When you finish with the tiles, you can put some screws at this side of your board and um, to attach the wooden strip so that the board doesn't move later. So I'll make some holes and then. and then put the screws inside. Now it should look like that. I don't think that this step is necessary, but on the other hand it is pretty useful. The last step is to mix the jointing material together with some water. And you have to mix it very well. You can spread the jointing material with your trowel or if you want with one of these. I think it's more easy. Now this is the result of the project. Uh, it worked pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, for around 50 
euros I think it's okay for a professional lab surface you pay around uh, 200 300 euros and um, yeah I worked around two hours I think it's okay yeah I hope you like the project and please like comment and subscribe